For 1400 years, much of humanity has been deceived into believing that Allah, the God of Muslims, is the same as the God of the Bible, when in fact, the Quran proves they are lying when comparing the biblical and Quran versions of numerous events recorded therein. For example, the story of Adam and Eve. Genesis chapter 2 verses 8 through 9 says, And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. God warned Adam, beginning in verse 17, But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat. The serpent deceived Eve into eating from the tree of knowledge, and so did Adam, and God punished them. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. It is obvious that God evicted Adam and his wife out of the Garden of Eden on earth. But the Islamic Quran relates a very different account. In Al-Baqarah chapter 2 verses 35 and 36 it reads, Allah said, O Adam, dwell thee and thy wife in the garden. But to this tree come not nigh, lest ye become of the transgressors. But Satan made them slip from it, and caused their banishment from the place in which they were. And Allah said, Get ye down. And in Al-A'raf chapter 7 verse 24 it says, Allah said, Get ye down. Note how the Quran differs greatly in meaning from the Judeo-Christian account. Number one, the Judeo-Christian account shows that the serpent beguiled only Eve. The Quranic account shows both Adam and Eve being deceived. Number two, in the Judeo-Christian account, God ordered both Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden on earth, while the Quran says Allah told them to jump down from paradise to earth. Taha chapter 20 verse 120 says, But Satan whispered to him, said he, O Adam, shall I show thee the tree of eternity? The Judeo-Christian account says the serpent tempted Eve with the fruit of the tree of knowledge, and not Adam with the tree of life or eternity. And in verse 123 of the Quran it says, Allah said, Get ye down both of you all together from the garden. So from a Judeo-Christian perspective, or from sheer logic, how the Quranic Allah could be the same God of Judeo-Christian scriptures if his account of early creation offers a totally contradictory account of the same event chronicled in Judeo-Christian scriptures? Even Muslim commentators are perplexed as to the scene of the fall of Adam since two of the four rivers that encompass the Garden of Eden are earthly rivers such as the Euphrates and Tigris, not rivers in heaven. And speaking of rivers, in the Christian Bible, in the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 1, implies there is no water in heaven. It reads, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. This video was written by I.Q. al Rasuli, edited by Clean TV, and used with permission. Thank mm -hmm. you.